Hello friends, welcome to another Mother's Day Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to do kind of like a shabby, chic, rustic, really feminine tumbler design. So I'm starting out with my 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler. This is a sublimation tumbler. So I sanded the surface of the cup down really well, washed it with dish soap and water, and now I am base painting so that I can apply my glitter. I've got my lavender acrylic paint mixed with my crystal black glitter glue here. And as you can see, I'm just brushing it all over the tumbler. And now we can go right into applying the glitter. The glitter color I'm going to use for this design is called Thompson and it is an olives glitter outlet color but you can get it on peachyoliveglitters.com and I'm just going to cover my entire tumbler with this glitter. Now of course you can use literally any color of glitter you want. You can use any cut you want. It doesn't matter. This is just going to be the base for our semi-transparent vinyl and the vinyl peekaboo that we're going to do later. I'm gonna let that glitter glue dry for at least two hours and then I'm going to tap off all of the excess glitter with my scissors and then seal the glitter with my crystal black glitter glue and water mixture. Now because this is such a fine cut of glitter you don't have to seal it if you don't want to but if I have the extra time I always like to just seal my glitter. It always makes my epoxy coats a lot easier. You end up using less epoxy. I just personally prefer to seal my glitter but of course you don't have to if you don't want to. So after that sealer dried for about two hours, I added two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. These coats are relatively thin. For this 30 ounce tumbler, my coats were about 20 milliliters and I waited probably four to six hours as usual in between my epoxy coats. And of course I'm using my Flint Sisters Supply Shop Fast Cure Epoxy. So now at this point, I'm going to very lightly sand down the top rim of my tumbler, but I am not going to sand anywhere else on the cup. One of our next steps is to apply some semi-transparent vinyl to part of our cup. And I do not want to sand down the surface of the cup before I add that semi-transparent vinyl, because if we do that and then put clear vinyl on top of all of that dull sanded area, it will not shine back up when we put epoxy over it. I know I say this every time we use semi-transparent or clear vinyl, but I get a lot of questions about it. So I'm going to keep telling you, you need to put semi-transparent or clear vinyl over a smooth, shiny surface. So I sanded down the top rim of the cup, then I cleaned the entire cup with some rubbing alcohol and a towel, and now I'm going to split my cup in half vertically. To do this, I just lay a piece of painter's tape down on one side of my tumbler, and then I'll bring that piece of tape around and then up the other side of the cup. And then I like to measure along the top rim to make sure that those two halves are even. And once I get my measurements even, I know that my cup is divided in half as equally as I can get it. Now there are a ton of ways to do this. If you have a better way, you can go for it. Um, there's a lot of different techniques and ways that you can split your cup in half, but that's just the quickest and easiest way for me most of the time. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. Once my measurements are even, I'm gonna tape off the side of the tumbler that I'm not using, just so I don't get confused and accidentally put my vinyl on the wrong half. These are the two vinyl sheets I picked out to get this shabby chic feminine look. And we're gonna start out with this super cute semi-transparent floral. This is from Banff Custom Creations. I will have it linked down below in the description box for you along with a discount code. And then for the other side of the tumbler, we're going to use this really pretty grungy spring pattern. And that one is from Glamour Tribe Vinyl. That pattern will also be linked down below in the description box along with a discount code. And so will everything else I'm using in this video. So be sure to check out the description box if you wanna know where I'm getting all of my supplies. So what I'm doing here for this half of the tumbler is taking that Easter floral semi-transparent pattern and I am marking it on my tumbler where I need to trim it down. So I'm only going to use about half, maybe less than half of this sheet of vinyl. So I've got plenty to use on another project and I'm just gonna use my paper trimmer to slice the vinyl where I made those marks.
Now I'm going to apply this sheet of vinyl the same way that I do any other pattern vinyl wrap. I'm going to line up this straight edge with the semi-straight edge of my tape, and then I'm going to secure that end of the vinyl down with a piece of painter's tape, remove a little bit of the backing, and then push the rest of the vinyl onto my tumbler using the felt edge of my squeegee. After the vinyl was placed onto the tumbler, I was ready to cut off all of the excess from the sides in the top. So using my super sharp craft knife blade, I'm going to follow that line of tape that's underneath the semi-transparent vinyl, using that as a guide to hopefully cut this excess off as straight as possible. If you can't cut a straight line like me, don't worry, we are going to cover this up with some vinyl striping later. So just cut the excess off the best you can. Don't worry about it being perfect. I'm gonna remove all of this painter's tape that's on the other side of my cup so that we can do our vinyl peekaboo on that side. I am going to retape the edges of this semi-transparent vinyl with some new painter's tape just to keep my area very well defined and make sure that all of my measurements are as accurate as can be. We aren't doing any painting or anything though, so if you don't wanna tape off this half of your tumbler, you absolutely don't have to. If you don't wanna use the tape, that's a-okay. So what I'm going to do first is measure the height and width of this half of my tumbler. So my cup is about nine and a half, nine and a quarter ish inches high. And then my cup around is about a little over five inches in width. So I'm going to write those measurements down so that I can create my template for my peekaboo. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in Silhouette Studio. The process is a little bit different in Cricut, but hopefully you get the idea and you're able to replicate this if you want to. Okay, so in Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna start by creating a shape and I'm going to resize that shape to match the measurements that I took of my tumbler. So I'm gonna make it a little more than five inches wide and about nine and a quarter inches in height. So now I've got my template shape for the peekaboo and this is what's going to be cut out of the vinyl. Now I'm gonna go and bring in my hand-lettered Mama SVG that I want to cut out of the middle of this vinyl. If you would like to use this same SVG, you can purchase it on my website, madebymousestudio.com. Or if you would like to get this file for free in the month of April 2024, you can join my Elite Fam and get this file along with a bunch of others, along with tons of other benefits. So if you wanna join the Elite Fam, you can go to patreon.com slash Elite Fam. I will also have that link down below in the description box for you. Okay, so what I just did there was take the SVG and the offset and create an outline. I have a full video on my channel dedicated to creating outlines, so I will link that down below in the description box for you if you'd like to watch that for a little bit more in depth on how to create the outlines for your peekaboos and things like that. So what I did was took the SVG, the outline, and centered them, and now I'm going to place them in the center of the box that we created, and then highlight all three of them and center them again to make sure that our mama decal is directly in the center of our box, of course. So now what I'm going to do is remove that offset or outline because we don't need that right now, and I'm going to highlight the mama and the shape and I'm going to right click and then hit make compound path. 
and that's essentially going to slice that SVG out of our box, as you can see there. So now when we cut this out, we can weed the middle portion out and then the mama will be the glitter showing through. So I'm going to now just cut this out of that grungy spring pattern vinyl that I showed you earlier, and then we can apply it to our tumbler. All right, so once this is cut out of our pattern vinyl, I obviously don't want to waste the entire sheet of vinyl weeding it out. So I'm going to trim around just the box that we cut the decal out of, and then I'm gonna save the rest of the vinyl for something else. So once I've got that little area trimmed out, I'm gonna remove the excess vinyl from around the shape that we've got cut out, and then I will apply my transfer tape to our full section. I'm not going to weed anything out at this point. I'm going to wait to do that until the vinyl's on the tumbler to make sure we don't lose any pieces and make sure everything is really, really super secure. Once I've got the transfer tape on the vinyl, I'm going to trim away all of those excess little areas of white backing that we have around the vinyl just to make sure that we get this placed as perfectly as possible. We don't want to impair our up application with this white backing. So I'm just going to cut all of that away and then we will essentially treat this the same way as a regular pattern vinyl wrap. We'll just pretend that there's no transfer tape and that there's nothing cut out of it. We'll just treat it the exact same way. So I'm going to tape down one edge of this section with some painter's tape, remove the backing, and then I'm actually going to use my fingers to apply this rather than the vinyl squeegee because I don't want the squeegee to miss any like areas of smoothing, if that makes sense. I feel like using my fingers for things like this, like I can really press my hands into it, make sure everything is laying down and that we don't get any wrinkling or bubbling or anything like that. Once I've got this vinyl applied, I'm going to remove all of the remaining painter's tape from the tumbler and then I'll very carefully remove the transfer tape from this sheet of vinyl. We shouldn't have too many issues removing this because the vinyl will be stuck down to the tumbler and the decal that we've got on here is not so delicate that you really need to worry about all of these tiny pieces coming up, but you still want to remove the transfer tape as carefully as you can. Once we've got the transfer tape removed, we can go through and weed out that mama SVG that we sliced out of the vinyl. I'm just using a like pin pen type tool here to help get the vinyl started. And then I'm gonna pull it up and you can see that super pretty purple glitter is peeking through. Now you can do this with any SVG. You can do it with any name you want. If you wanted it to say something different, you can do this. This is one of my favorite techniques for like a fun kind of peekaboo effect without having to do all the steps of the peekaboo even though i love all of those steps but anyway you can do this with any sort of decal that you want again it does not have to be mother's day or mom themed Okay, the next step is to clean up our top and bottom rims. So I'm using my cup edging tool from Cami Page Boutique here just to clean up this top line of vinyl. I of course did not apply anything perfectly, which is okay because this is art and everything's fine. So I'm going to clean up those lines at the top of the cup and then I'm going to tape them off on the top and the bottom so that I can paint and glitter them a different color. If you want to, you can keep them the same glitter that you used for the rest of the design, but I like to use more than one glitter and I wanted it to have a little bit of a different like visual kind of element. I wanted to make it a little bit more visually interesting and add in some more of these gorgeous colors that we've got in our vinyl.
for the top and bottom rim, I decided to do a light blue. So I'm going to mix together some acrylic paint and my glitter glue from Adhesive Apothecary. The name of the paint, by the way, is called Blue Heaven. And then the glitter I'm going to use is called Lake House. And this is another Olive's Glitter Outlet color. So I'm just going to paint these top and bottom sections with my paint and glitter glue mixture. And then I'll apply the glitter. So I let that dry for about 30 minutes and then I added another layer of the Crystal Act glitter glue and water mixture to seal the glitter in. And then I added a coat of epoxy over everything. So at this point, that top and bottom glitter is smooth enough for me to move on to the next step. But if for whatever reason it's not, you can always add another coat of epoxy to that area. Make sure it's totally smooth before you move on to all of your vinyl details. So what I'm gonna do before I add any more vinyl is clean up the top rim of the cup. So taking my craft knife, I'm just gonna run it along the top rim and chip off any epoxy and glitter and stuff that's hanging out where it shouldn't be. So first I'm going to add my vinyl striping to all of these areas of the tumbler. And of course I'm using my tried and true, my champagne gold textured metallic vinyl from TechRap Craft. And I'm going to lay some thicker stripes down on the sides of our cup where our two vinyl patterns meet. I believe these are like 0.2 inches in width maybe, maybe a little smaller than that. And then for the top and bottom edges where the glitter meets the vinyl, I'm going to use some thinner strips. I think these are like 0.12 inches in width maybe. You can play around with the sizing. I always just kind of estimate based on how it looks. So you can do whatever size striping you think will look the best. So with the bottom stripes, I'm going to wrap them right around that edge where the glitter and the vinyl are following the straight edge of my vinyl that I cut earlier to make sure that all of my lines are straight. Once I've done that, I'm going to trim off this excess vinyl from the side. So everything should really kind of melt together and you shouldn't see any seams or anything once this is under epoxy. We're also going to add some more vinyl on top of this, which is why these stripes are a little bit thicker than I normally would use because uh, they're really just going to be like a background stripe. For the top layer of our striping, I'm going to use the colorful pearl lilac vinyl. This is also from TechRap Craft. And I wanted to use this color because I wanted to bring out a little bit more of the pink that was in both of our vinyl patterns. We've got the purple covered, we've got the blue covered, so I had to add a little bit of pink. But of course you can do any color you want. So I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm just going to lay these stripes down and then cut off the excess, just trying to keep these as centered within that gold stripe as possible. I don't want anything to look too wonky, but yeah, the process is pretty much the same. Now that we've got our striping on, we can finish the tumbler off with our mama outline. So this is the outline that I created when I made the peekaboo shape and template. So I'm going to cut that out of my champagne gold textured metallic vinyl. And I did try to save this middle part of the decal so that I could use it for something else. I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just weeded it really carefully and then put it on a spare sheet of backing that I had. And now I'm going to use my yellow grid transfer tape from TechRap Craft. This is like 
really super sticky and it works so well on this textured vinyl. I really love the black grid transfer tape as well, but I've been using the yellow lately too and it works really, really great. So I'm going to put that onto my decal and then I'm going to use the bottom portion of the outline to line up the outline with the peekaboo area to to try and get it as perfectly placed as I can. And then I'm going to remove the transfer tape. And once I've got that on, I can add my final two coats of epoxy. If you wanna seal your vinyl, you absolutely can, but I did not. I just did my final two coats of my Flynn Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy. Each coat was about 20 to 25 milliliters. And that's it, we are all done. So here is the final tumbler design. I am obsessed with how this turned out. I love these two sheets of vinyl together. The purple glitter just goes with that pattern vinyl so perfectly. And I really like how it turned out. And I hope that you do too. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my new videos. And of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next Mother's Day Tumblr tutorial. Okay, love you. Bye. I want to say a special thank you to all of my channel members, subscribers, and especially my elite fam. Thank you guys for all of your support. I literally could not do this without you. If you want to be part of the fam, you can subscribe to the channel, join as a channel member, or if you'd like the full shebang, extra content, and all of that, you can join my elite fam by going to patreon.com slash elite fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for all of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Here's one if you want to check it out. Okay, love you. Bye.